James Corden apologizes for Weinstein gags at Hollywood Gala after a huge online backlash and says he was just trying to shame disgraced movie mogul. James Corden has apologized for jokes he made that appeared to make light of victims of Harvey Weinstein's decades-long harassment. He wrote in two tweets, to be clear, sexual assault is no laughing matter. I was not trying to make light of Harvey's inexcusable behavior, but to shame him, the abuser, not his victims. I am truly sorry for anyone offended. That was never my intention. His apology comes after he was condemned on social media for jokes he made at the Umfa Gala, which he hosted in Los Angeles on Friday night. The audience of A-listers reacted to his jokes with a mixture of groans and applause. This is a beautiful room, it's a beautiful night here in L. A. Corden told the assembled crowd in his opening monologue. It's so beautiful, Harvey Weinstein has already asked tonight up to his hotel to give him a massage. To the consequent mixture of applause and groans, he said, if you don't like that joke, you should probably leave now. He continued, it has been weird this week though, watching Harvey Weinstein in hot water. Ask any of the women who watched him take a bath. Harvey Weinstein wanted to come tonight, but sadly he'll settle for whatever potted plant is closest. He was condemned perhaps most forcibly by Rose McGowan, who deemed him a motif of asterisk asterisk piggly on Twitter. She proceeded to list out three points. 1. James Corden is a close friend of Harvey Weinstein's. 2. Hearing the audience's vile roars and laughs show exactly what kind of Hollywood you really are. 3. At CBS donate to it a look or you to support rape culture. CBS broadcasts the Late Late Show with James Corden, his late night talk show. A look is the East Los Angeles Women's Center, which provides crisis intervention and services to women in Los Angeles impacted by sexual and domestic violence, human trafficking, and hive, according to its Twitter profile. The actress, who made her breakthrough in 1996 in the Weinstein-produced slasher revival movie Scream, reportedly sued Weinstein after he assaulted her in 1997 at the Sundance Film Festival. Corden's jokes could have been referencing a number of alleged incidents. Women ranging from A-list actresses to relative unknowns have made allegations, for example, that Weinstein would ask them for massages. One accuser, Zoe Brock, wrote on Medium, Harvey left the room, but not for long. He re-emerged naked a couple of minutes later and asked if I would give him a massage. Panicking, in shock, I remember weighing up the options and wondering how much I needed to placate him to keep myself safe. Another woman, Lauren Sheevan, has claimed that the influential producer once trapped her in the hallway of a restaurant during a private event and masturbated in front of her until he ejaculated into a potted plant. Other tweeters have further condemned Corden for his jokes. One wrote, What utter disrespect you show to all those women. Jokes perpetuate widespread denial of what happened. Another chimed in, Hollywood men. Well sexual assault is terrible I have a daughter so rape is defo bad. Also Hollywood men. I have some jokes. Wanna hear them? Sarah Sahim added, the patriarchy is Ruth Jones single-handedly making Gavin and Stacey iconic, while James Corden later became a Hollywood star. The backlash against Corden came after English actress Lysa Anthony accused Weinstein of raping her in the hallway of her London home in the late 1980s. Lysa doubted herself as the woman who passed an historic complaint about the studio boss to police last week. She said she had been friends with Weinstein for years before the attack and never felt anything untoward would happen between them until he grabbed at her during a meeting at his Chelsea home. She managed to flee on that occasion, she said, but he later called at her flat at 10 a.m. and when she answered in her dressing gown he forced himself inside. She claims he pinned her against a coat rack in the hallway, raped her, then left. 
Scotland Yard detectives confirmed they are investigating one historic allegation of sexual assault and on Sunday revealed they are also probing three more allegations against a second London victim. The woman, who has not been identified, claimed to have been assaulted twice in Westminster in 2010 and 2011 and a third time in the borough of Camden in 2015. They join a list of women who claimed to have been attacked in London, which already included Rosie Dixon and Kate Beckinsale, who said they were harassed by Weinstein in his suite at the Savoy. Images of Weinstein also emerged dating from 2003 when he was still married to his first wife, which showed him arguing with a blonde woman outside a restaurant on the streets of London. He was also seen pressing a wad of money into the hand of a watching photographer, unaware that a second snapper had captured the whole event. Witnesses said the woman appeared visibly distressed during the conversation. Meanwhile Woody Allen spoke out to defend his former collaborator, saying he feels sad for everybody involved. Allen, whose own son Dylan was instrumental in exposing the allegations, said he now fears a witch hunt against any man in an office who winks at a woman. The Amphagala raised money for AIDS research. Celebrities in attendance included Tom Hanks, Sean Penn, and Kate Hudson. A lunch with Matt Bomber, Julia Roberts, Ryan Murphy, Hanks, Penn and Corden had an auction price of $110,000, Variety reports. Roberts received a Fuzz Award of Courage from Hanks at the 8th Annual Gala. In a surprise tribute, Coldplay's Chris Martin took the stage to sing several songs in honor of the star. The following night, Saturday Night Live finally got around to addressing the Harvey Weinstein scandal a week after it broke and seemed to atone by spending ample time on it. The show attracted criticism for not referencing the brewing controversy in its October 7th show, but its jokes from last night have not attracted criticism in the same way that Corden's have. The SNL jokes about Weinstein appear to have come from a place of moral outrage rather than using the scandal as fodder for punchlines. Colin Joss hit hardest during his weekend update segment with Michael Key. Joss got right in with the rumors of Weinstein going to rehab and said that it would not help. He has been accused of multiple acts of sex assault. He doesn't need sex rehab, he needs a specific facility where no one could see him where there are metal bars. And it's a prison. He added, he looks like rolled bubble gum, chewed in cat hair. The comedian also noted the difficulty of making jokes about sexual assault. He says women are going to use his name as a saying now, if he tries to Weinstein me I'm gonna cut off his Harvey. Before the weekend update, a skit featuring women in the SNL cast playing Marion Cotillard, Viola Davis and a fictional character called Debate Goldry had a panel on sexual assault in the entertainment industry. Goldry, played by Kate McKinnon, tells a fictional tale of Weinstein harassing her. I had one meeting with him and when I arrived he was naked hanging upside down from monkey bars. He was trying to make me believe his genitals were his face. It almost worked. The similarity is uncanny. The Goldie character says in her Hollywood heyday women would have a secret code to warn other women about men who were jerks. The code was he raped me. If any men were listening they'd tune us right out. The fictional Goldie wrapped up the skit on a serious note. Violence against women is everywhere, damn it, not just women in Hollywood. Pandora's box is open now, and Pandora is pissed. More than 30 women have now come forward with allegations of sexual harassment against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein, the man once described as god of the film industry.